All right, welcome everybody. I am Margaret Morrison. I am, um, my title is Education Advisor here at the American Tap Dance Foundation. And I'm working today with uh, Susan Haybach, who is our youth program director and the director of the Tap City, excuse me, Youth Ensemble. And this is for tap teachers who work with students in a studio and we're dealing with the physical challenges and the, the joys and the, you know, all those good things of um, getting the tap dance you know, conveying this artistry to our students. Yeah, well, and, and that historically at that time, I mean, you're coming from Sousa marches and like Sousa marches for kids to understand that I'm a Yankee doodle, boom, dang, ding, dang, that's everything on the downbeat, right? So when they start slurring with the melody mixed with some of that form, that's kind of where you get ragtime. Okay, I, I always call them Nicholas Brothers Trenches and Danny Daniels Trenches, because that's who I learned that style from, was from Danny Daniels. Um, when you're hearing the head of the melody, the A and the A, the A section of the melody starts with a pickup, and then the bridge starts on the downbeat. So to get up and dance now and what I want to do is teach a very simple time step that you can teach beginners I just want to say that with this simple thing I've hit like so many points that I want to hit. Even if we're just talking about the history of jazz and the history of jazz and tap in America, I've hit about five Africanisms. I've hit five things that root us in the jazz and in the black experience. My left foot out. It's going to slide out there. My right foot's going to land over here. So ooh, it's hard to stop it slowly so that my right foot is under my left shoulder. I feel like there's nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> Now, the last trick to doing the trench. Danielle, those are really good. Yeah. Lisa, uh, end with, uh, give us an ending, um, you know, something to take into our, our day today from Canada. I would say, you know, enjoy the journey and make sure that we always tell the story of our heroes.